What is going on, YouTube? SciGuy29 coming at you for another episode of Crafts and Cards. I believe we're at 169 today. So, uh, hope all is well where you are. Here we are, closing on the end of August. College football starts this weekend with a few games. Week zero. Uh, kind of crazy not going back to school um, for the first time since I was six. So, uh, a little different there, but we're good and long well. So, uh, been able to hang out with my grandson, my daughter-in-law and son, both teach. So, I've been getting to keep him in the mornings when they go back to work. So, then he goes to his uh, grandma's house in the afternoon. So, been taking some extra BP, doing a little golfing, a lot of things like that. It's a lot of fun with a two-and-a-half-year-old. So, uh, another new beer for you. Beer I've never had, from a brewery I've never had anything from, and uh, we're gonna go to the fridge right over here. Can't quite see it. We'll tip it down a little bit. There's the fridge. But uh, this is a May Maybach, Maybach from Prost Brewing Company, Denver, and I believe Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, it says in collaboration with Brow House. I'm going to say Garmish. Uh, it's a 6.7 Helles Bach. Prost, of course, means cheers in German. Uh, and my Bach uh, is, is kind of like a lighter Bach beer, a lighter, uh, it's not quite as dark. So we'll uh, go ahead and get this poured out. And it is lighter. A Helles Bach. Nice golden color there. Put that in the background. There it is. You can kind of get the light test. Yep, there it is. So, cheers. Prost. Yeah, that's good. Um, kind of a lemony lemongrass type at the end. Kind of a good, nice, level mouth feel. That'll work. Uh, but today, uh, I've been digging through some boxes. Uh, kind of separating the collection out into things I know I want to keep. Things I might want to keep. And things that I'm willing to sell. So, these came out of the willing... Well out of a box that I was sorting. Some of these are keep, some of them are can get rid of. So uh, these are from the year 2000. It was the first, uh, second, second football season I lived in here in Jefferson. Uh, but So 24 years ago. And these are the Skybox EX 2000. And they're really kind of crazy cards at the time were mind blowing. And uh, we're going to start with this beautiful Barry Sanders. You can see it kind of has like a, you can't really, you can see the clouds. That's like an inset. That's like a cellophane. Then everything else is over, or superimposed over that kind of. And you can actually, we'll use this Jake Plumber because I don't care quite so much about the Jake Plumber. Take it out of the sleeve. You can kind of. You kind of see that there's that white border is actually like a picture frame and is separate from the back of the card is the player is a, like die cut in there so uh, I can't imagine the printing process here was was very simple but we'll get Jake Plummer off the screen for a while although it's a great looking card it really is um, we'll go back to the Barry Sanders because it's a better looking card and being the Vikings fan, I like the fact that it's almost a purple hue to it there. Next, we'll go to a color match. This is of none other than Mr. Emmett Smith. Next, local legend, Iowa State alum, another great running back, Troy Davis. Uh, wish Troy was a little better off. Uh... The only guy, I think, at one time, you know, 
He was the first guy to ever rush for 2,000 yards in the college uh, Division I uh, back-to-back seasons, finished second uh, in the Heisman Trophy race to, I believe, Danny freaking Werfel. Good God. But uh, ended up, never really quite found his footing in the NFL, ended up going to Canada, had a little more success up there. I might do an episode on him uh, later this fall. Next, oop, come on, we have Mr. Jerry Rice. Packer great. Antonio, or she's, she's looking at the other pile. Uh, Reggie White. Shout out to Scott, Scotty Tradition. All you other cheese heads. Not a Packer fan being a Viking guy. Hey, what are you going to do? Lefty quarterback. Steve Young. It's a good look with the goldish orange border there. Kind of pops off a little better. Uh, then I have some that are just penny sleeve. You've already seen Jake Plummer. I believe that's his rookie year as well. Uh, Troy Davis. That might be his as well. Yeah, it's got his stats from Iowa State. Take a look at those. It was in basically, his career stats are basically in two full seasons. Just insane. He didn't play till like game 10, and that's back when they had an 11 game season. Game 10 of his freshman year was used very sparingly, but uh, heard lots of reasons why, but nothing concrete, so I won't go into that right now. I'm gonna get another drink before I go through the rest of these. All right, we've got running back Jamal Anderson. Viking, Brad Johnson. He might end up playing quarterback for him again this year, the way things are going. Notre Dame product, Ricky Waters. Packer great, Antonio Freeman. That card really pops with the, the, in the clouds in the background are different based on where the, on the card. I don't know if it has to do with, with uh, player's location or what, but uh, here's Packer tight end Mark Chimura. Here we have Warwick Dunn. Colts great Marvin Harrison. This is a set, and uh, I got these in a, oh man, I think in 90, the spring of 99, uh, I won an auction for like 20 bucks on eBay, and it was a 3,200 count box of cards. Now, I, and they had all sorts of different ones that said you would get one of these, and I, I'm more, the money-wise was great. There, there's two autographs that I sold years ago that more than paid for the box, but it, uh, these were in, it wasn't a complete set, but it was, I think I had 60% of the cards uh, in, in pages. They were just stacked in this binder. I had a couple other, uh, 97 Donruss, I think, was another set that was that way. Baseball. Um, I might do a couple other videos with those, but, so that's where I got these. I never bought a ton of football, but... In these years, I did, but was never lucky enough to get the Brady or anything. So, do we have Eddie George? Another great running back, Terrell Davis. Back when there was a premium in the league. <laughs> Speaking of, Thurman Thomas. Saw him play in college with Oklahoma State, and they just keep coming. Marcus Allen. Here we have one of my favorites to watch, Marshall Falk. Couple left, we'll go this way. I think the only, oh, one of two, I think uh, we had Reggie White. So here's another defensive player in Junior Seau. Guy was a phenomenal linebacker. We're gonna finish it up with a Notre Dame Heisman Trophy winner in 
Mr. Tim Brown. So, there you go. There's a look at the 2000 Skybox EX 2000 set. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope all is well where you are. Uh, baseball guys, it's getting down to that time. Uh, my twins are hanging in there. I'm uh, having a little trouble staying healthy on the pitching front. But uh, we'll see what happens. So, till next time. Like I like to tell you, collect what you love. Love what you collect. Cheers.